All right, thank you for standing by, my friends. We can get back to it now. Mansta just got a PC engine from Japan. Gonna try out Loom. Can't say that I know that game. I don't know a whole lot about the uh, Turbo Graphics PC engine, other than it, uh, it's supposed to have a good version of Splatterhouse and a lot of good shmups. That's what I always hear about it. Sorry, bad connection, Fresh says. Uh, yeah, you were saying uh, Sears had their own console in the 70s, and I think you said that you picked one up, but you're having trouble finding games for it. Chosen says, I think uh, both the NES and the Super NES are, are GOAT. Genesis, I'm trying to find more games I like, though I haven't found many. I actually fell right in love with Decap Attack. Haven't tried that one. Geo says, imagine that back then we weren't allowed to play arcade games, had no internet, no phones, no previous consoles, and suddenly we have these consoles for Christmas. You can play video games at home. Huge progress. My first console is the 2600, so I think it's natural for me to consider it the best console. Nothing wrong with that. The Commodore 64 was the first way that I played video games. Not really a console, but uh, you know that was my that was my first. Those all my first video games were Commodore 64. We had a 2600 when I was a kid uh, for a little while, but I don't remember it very well. I don't like I I don't even remember what games we had. I just remember I just remember the console. But I don't remember, I don't have any memories of playing it. Um, and then we got an NES, and, and that was like, that was the first console that was like, that was like, the that was like my video game console. And then I just, uh, I just played Nintendo stuff pretty much after that. Like, like Chozo in regards to the Genesis. Ah. I'm kind of in the same position as uh, Chozo with my, uh, like, with the Genesis. Like, I'm trying to play it more and find more games that I like for it. But I, I haven't found a whole lot that, like, I really... I really haven't found a whole lot that I that I really love for it yet. I do really like Castlevania Bloodlines. Like that's that's the that I think that's the biggest like standout game for me on the Genesis. The one that is probably my favorite Genesis game. I don't think I've found anything that's really close to it. to recovery from COVID is slow and painful, Sparrow says. I'm sorry to hear that, but I am glad to hear that, you know, at least you 
you are recovering. As slow as it may be, it's, it's, it's definitely better than going in the opposite direction. First computer was Amstrad, CPC, 6128. I don't think I, I don't have any, I don't have any experience with that one myself. I don't have a lot of, uh, I don't have a lot of computer experience in general. The Commodore 64 is really the only computer games that I ever played a significant amount of. Like, I never, I never really played much on DOS or Windows or anything like that. And even to this day, I, I pretty much never play a video game on computer. We had one of those in our junior primary school, Sparrow says, with the strange disk drive. My neighbor had a 464 with a green screen. <laughs> I think after I think after the Commodore 64, like our our next real computer, we didn't have one until Windows XP. And we never put any games on it. We had a giant. We had a giant laptop. Also, um, I think we actually got it after we got the XP computer, but I I don't remember very clearly. I could be wrong about that. But we had a giant laptop that ran some version of DOS, but again, no games for it. And uh, like I'm not. I'm even if you tried to run games on it, like I'm not sure that the screen on the laptop could have displayed them because it had a very strange screen. It was a very... It, I, just, I remember text always looking very weird on it. It was a simple black and white screen. It didn't look like any monitor I've ever seen. No! No! Why the boulders? Always the boulders. Cheese and onion. I remember that, Sparrow. I tried to... I had problems... Have you been able to get that to run on your C64? Because I had, I couldn't get it to work on the Mini when I tried it. You know, just like everything else. This game is rude, of course you're playing it. Well, I, I, it's not, the problem isn't playing it, the problem is trying to master it. Early LCD laptops with passive displays are the worst, yeah. Black and white 286 era DOS laptops. That's what it, yeah, that's, sound, I think that's what we had. My dad had a VIC 20, precursor to the C64. Apparently, you could play games on that. You could. 100%. There was some pretty primitive games on there, Sparrow says. Haven't tried it yet, but I will. All right, report back to me, Sparrow. When you do, um, K 
because uh, like everything else with the C64, I, I appear to be doing something wrong. <laughs> My favorite computer for games is the Amiga 500, Geo says. Favorite game on the C64 lately has been Addictable, Sparrow says. Is that an old game or a newer one? It's an older one as far as you know. Eighty seven. Alright, yeah, yeah, that's I mean I didn't know if it was something like Lester where it was something that had come out recently. Vic-20 doesn't hold a candle to the C-64. I can do the first half of this game with no problems, and the second half of it? Trash. No! It's not, it's not right. I'm across the world. I'm on at least a one minute lag. No worries, no worries, Fresh. River Raid and Hero. If I uh, if I if I see them for sale somewhere, uh, when I'm uh, out looking at games, I will uh, I'll try to remember them. River Raid, uh, River Raid. I've you know it's been in the back of my mind for a while because uh, a lot of people tell me about that one. I was about to mention River Raid. Mansta says uh, a lot of people tell me how good that one is. It's uh, like. It's got to be it's got to be great because people talk about it a lot. And Hero I've just heard of, so I have to try and remember that one too. We'll see. I I can't make I can't make any promises, but You know, I like uh I like, you know, trying to add cool things to my collection sometimes. Word Zapper and Mouse Trap are other favorites, uh, Mansta says. The manuals were an adventure uh, themselves for these games.
Hey, whoa. We've got a raid coming in. It's Barnaculis. Hey, thank you for the raid. Thank you very much. Pleasure to have you come by. Welcome to your friends. Welcome to Atari 2600. Pleasure to have you here. Spaceballs, welcome in. And uh, Theodore... Whoa. Theodoros, good to see you again. Untidy Tech, thank you for coming along. Pleasure to have you all here. Thank you for the four bits, Spaceballs. Very kind of you. Oh, I died. All right. <laughs> I was I was hesitant to to turn away from the game because I'm trying to I'm try this game has four boards and I'm trying to clear all of them in a single life. And I was really close, but I just lost it. So <laughs> we'll just stand here and enjoy the music and chat for a moment. Thank you for coming by tonight, everybody. Thank you for the follow, my new friend. Uh, the follow from about a moment ago. Uh, Blake, Blake Nerdy, welcome in. Uh, that's you. Thank you for the follow. Pleasure to have you on board with us. Hopefully I'm not missing anybody. Gybotron, welcome in. And uh, Ghost Hunt, welcome in. DJ Merlin, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. How was the uh, How was the stream tonight? I hope you uh, I hope you guys had a had a great time over on the uh, the Barnaculi stream. Thank you for the follow, Ghost Hunt. Thank you for the bit, Super Question Man. Very, very kind of you. Thank you. Ah, uh, how are you doing? Can you say hi to Pavel for his birthday today? Certainly can. Happy birthday, Pavel. Congratulations on another successful mission around the sun. Sorry for distracting you. No worries. No worries at all. <laughs> I welcome a, I welcome the distraction. If I didn't if I was worried about being distracted, I'd play games offline, right? The more I the more I blunder and the more I have to retry, that just means I get to play the game for longer. It's wonderful. If you're on death row, what would your last meal be? And let's pretend the guard lets you have two hours of game time before you die. What game and console would it be? Easy. My favorite game of all time is Super Ghouls and Ghosts on the Super Nintendo. If it's if it's if I only have two hours, if I only have two hours, you know, I can I can at least beat my favorite game for one one last time. Maybe twice if I'm on a really good run, if I'm on two really good runs, but probably only once if we're being realistic. <laughs> so I've got to play that. What would my meal be? I'd be paralyzed with indecision. Probably, uh, probably a, a Thai basil uh, stir fry with a chicken. That's probably my fav my favorite meal. Now you're a pro on the boulders. Geo says I did good with the. Uh, I did good with the uh, with the boulders there. And uh, Guy Batron, sorry to, to skip your question. This is Jungle Hunt. This is Jungle Hunt on the Atari 2600. This is actually my first time playing it. I played Jungle Hunt on the Commodore 64 as a kid. Um, I don't remember it very well. I remember the swinging on vines part. And the swimming. I think I remember the swimming too. But I don't think I ever made it past it. I think I, I think I, I don't think I ever made it past the swimming part when I was a kid. We're doing okay with it tonight. I cleared it. I cleared it real quick. I think even on first try, I cleared all four of the boards. But I died several times, and I was like, "Well, it's not that big of a game," and I didn't want to like be done with it so quickly. So I thought, "Well, let's just see if we can clear all four boards in a single life." And I got real close, but uh hasn't happened just yet. So we're gonna be playing this one for a little while longer. 
How long have you been playing the 2600? So I had one when I was a kid, but I don't remember it very well. I've played it more on the stream, I think, than I ever did in my childhood. Because I had the Commodore 64 first, and then we got the 2600. But then we got the NES really quickly after that, as I remember. I was real young, so it's all blurry, um, the details. Um, but because we, we kind of went from C64 to 2600 to NES so quickly, the 2600 I don't really have any memories of. So I've really been playing it on stream more than more than anything else. Uh, oh, we have a stretch break request. And some pistachios. Thank you, uh, Mansta. Thank you, Fresh. We'll do both of those things. Uh, Yaden says, gotta head to bed. Great to see you. Thank you again for the raid, Yaden. Have a wonderful rest of your night, my friend. Uh, props again on beating Metroid, and I hope you have a lot of fun with the, uh, with the remaster. And to, until I see you again, be well. But for tonight, sleep well and have a wonderful tomorrow. All right, so pistachios. I got a new thing of pistachios. Let's, uh, we're going to stretch, so might as well. Make the camera big for a moment. Let me enjoy a few of these first. Pistachios are like my favorite snack. I eat a lot of almonds. I eat a lot of cashews. But my favorite are the pistachios. Just uh, roasted with a little salt. And their perfection. I try to eat the I try to eat pistachios only when I'm on the stream because it it limits me. Because I could very easily eat my weight in pistachios. <laughs> I got a difficult one here. I'm having trouble cracking it open. All right, and we'll take a moment to stretch. All right, that should do it. I have only become stronger, Fresh says. Ozzy will become too strong. <laughs> Thank you for the stream, Geo says. Take care all and see you. It's 11.30 for you. So you're going to play some 2600 games right on. <laughs> have fun. Have fun, Geo. Thank you for being here. Thank you again for the follow. I hope you are well until we see you again. Let's get my big head out of the way. Um, so we're playing. Uh, let's no wait, wait. Let's get my big head back in the way again. 
Um, just so apologies for the really bogus video capture quality where we, we are playing on a real 2600 and it's a, it's the old RF output. So it doesn't, I can't capture it very well. So I, I know it looks kind of, I know it looks kind of gross, but, uh, unfortunately that just is what it is. It's authenticity. It's authenticity. I think it looks fantastic, Mansta says. <laughs> Thank you, Mansta. And uh, we'll uh, we'll reset this and, and give it another go here. RF is a serious vibe. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like lo-fi music, right? It's like a, it's a video equivalent of it's a video it's video lo-fi. <laughs> exactly. So uh for everybody who's uh, come in and is still here um all the raiders and the lurkers, welcome in one more time. I am very grateful to have you here. Thank you for uh, checking out what we do on the stream. This is a uh, fairly representative of uh, how things normally go around here. Uh, I'm Frowny, of course. I stream several nights a week, mostly on weeknights. Um, 11 p.m. Central Time is the uh, target start time, and we usually go for about five to seven hours. I'm a, I'm a retro video gamer kind of guy. Um, I do newer things on the Switch from time to time. Um, mostly things that are like indie games or, or sort of retro in sensibility. But it's mostly the uh, the older games, and as often as possible on original hardware around here. I uh, prioritize extremely strictly blind playthroughs of games, so I try as hard as possible to never do any research or receive any help or advice as I'm working my way through games. Uh, on a first playthrough or a challenge run, I really like to capture like the raw experience of like the struggle to figure out a game so I'm frequently lost and confused and playing poorly <laughs> but we try to keep spirits high nonetheless I have a real love for like brutally difficult arcade style platformers you'll frequently find me doing challenge runs of those kind of things and uh, I like things that are like uh, jank, broken trash games, like plug-and-play devices and licensed games of low quality. So I, I suffer through a lot of those too. And I mean, I, I take, I like to try and take everything we play all the way to credits as often as I can make it. And uh, if the game is really terrible, we might even 100% it just out of spite. <laughs> uh. Location. Thank you. Uh, thank you for another bit, Spaceballs. I'm in Wisconsin. I uh, I grew up in Kentucky. Well, I was I was born in Italy, um, and, but I and I lived for a while in Georgia as a kid. But I really grew up in Kentucky, and I've lived in a lot of places, um, um, Tennessee and Thailand and Korea and Texas. Um, but, uh, now I've, I finally made my way up to Wisconsin and hopefully I won't have to move around anymore and I get to be here forever. <laughs> Hello, Greg. Welcome in. Great to have you with us tonight, my friend.
I mean, you can kind of just mash the button, and this part's, like, basically free. Greg says, playing Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection? Oh, nice. You weren't kidding about the difficulty there. Yeah, that game is a that game is a nightmare. It's a wonderful game, but it's so hard. It's so hard. Ghosts and Goblins was so hard for me, Spaceball says. I mean, you're not alone. I started, uh, I started the stream right about the time when, when, uh, Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection came out, and it was kind of the, the release of that game that motivated me to start the stream when I did. Because, like, I'd been, I'd been wanting to start a stream for a while, and I'd been tinkering with it and working, you know, working on, working on it and practicing Really, like doing recordings and stuff like that, but it was the it was the upcoming release of Ghost and Goblins Resurrection. I was like, all right, now's the time. I gotta, I gotta actually start pressing the go live button and start doing the stream because that that game's gonna come out, and I wanna I wanna play that. I wanna play that on the stream, on a stream. <laughs> And so the, the very first night of the stream, we played through Ghosts and Goblins on the NES. Night two, we played through Super Ghouls and Ghosts. And night three, I started Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection. And that game was so hard. I still haven't properly beaten it. My experience with the earlier games. I thought I was. I thought I'd go in prepared, since I'm pretty. Since I'm pretty good at some of the older ones. Boy, I was wrong. Bought that game. Pre-ordered the Final Fantasy uh, remasters. Right on. just says I love the page mode though so normies like me can see the entire game yeah well I I stubbornly decided to play it on legend mode <laughs> and and refused to turn down the difficulty I don't I don't recommend it <laughs> I completed one loop. I completed one loop of the game. And after... Well, spoilers. Greg, you might not want to listen. I'll give you, I'll give you a peace sign when the spoilers are over. But uh, I'm going to spoil something about the game. It's a minor thing. It's not that not really that important. But uh, uh, after you complete after you complete one loop, you get a credit roll. And so I thought, well, I saw the credits. This is a good place to pause with the game for now. And now I'm having a hard time picking it back up to force myself through another loop. Uh. If it's about the second loop, I kind of figured that. Okay, okay. I mean, it, it wasn't, it was just that you actually get a credit roll after the first loop. Which I don't think is a really big spoiler, but I, I want to watch out for you nonetheless. But 
But yeah, because the because the because it plays credits after one loop, it's hard for me to 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 find the willpower to pick it back up because I was like, oh, I felt like an ending. <laughs> uh, but we will. I can't leave it unbeaten forever. We'll definitely go back to it. I'll put it on the schedule. I'll put it on the schedule with Jump King, and we can have we we can have nights. We'll have a night every week where we play Jump King and Ghost of Goblins Resurrection. It'd be the worst. It'd be the worst night of my life every week. Angelus, welcome in. Thank you for the raid, my friend, and welcome to your friends as well. I hope you're having a wonderful night, Angelus. Tell us all about your stream. We'd love to hear. These days I start from the easiest mode and uh, work my way up. If the game is worth my time, Mansta says. I usually just start off with uh, whatever the default difficulty is. <clears throat> Myself, I... Uh, I'm usually not super interested in the easy in the easier modes, but uh, I get how that can be. I get I certainly get how that can be useful, you know, if you value your time. I'd like to think I value my time, but but the stream has generated a lot of evidence that I don't <laughs> with some of the games that I choose to play. <laughs> Pride versus time, Mansta says. Let me pr let me at least practice since we're at the end here. thing I didn't this practice in. Wow. Alright, let's catch up with uh, Angelus playing Silent Hill 2. Enjoying being thoroughly creeped out by it, Angelus says. Right on. I'm glad to hear you're having a good time. Flashback scaled difficulty very well between the difficulty levels. Each playthrough progressively still took me about seven hours as my skill level increased with the difficulty levels, Mansta says. I'm a Fire Emblem fan. Introducing easy mode probably made it more accessible, Fresh says. I haven't ever tried a uh, Fire Emblem game. The same here, Theodoro says, but luckily I don't stream evidence of the stuff I do that waste my time. <laughs> you're, you're so much wiser than I am. <laughs> Let's uh, give a shout out for, uh, for Angelus. For those who would be inclined to uh, give our friend a follow, Angelus plays a lot of retro games, a lot of retro PC games, but also console stuff, and uh, definitely has a taste for uh, for things that are uh, that are that are jank and bizarre. <laughs> Angelus is uh, not afraid to explore games that have dubious reputations. 
Greg says, can't argue that. E.T. Atari, Superman 64. What's time playing those games? Yeah, nothing but wasted, Greg. I still, I still need to finish Superman 64, too. I have to play it on hard mode someday. I only went through it on normal, and you don't get the true ending on normal. Boy, was I upset when I found that out. The whole game is a hard mode, isn't it? Yeah, hard, hard not to lose your patience. No. No, that boulder. Mm, -hmm. mm, that boulder is very upsetting. Uh, thank you for the shout out, Franny. No problem, Angelus. No problem at all, my friend. Thank you again for the raid. So I cleared I cleared the I cleared this game. You know, like, I think on my first attempt, and then my very next attempt, like I said, because I, I cleared it, and I was like, well, I was, I was thinking, well, that was quick. Why don't we try and do it in one life? In my very next attempt, I made it up to the very last jump on a single life, and I tripped at the finish line, and now I can't even replicate that, that success. <laughs> I came as close as humanly possible to the one life clear on my second attempt. And now I just keep blundering over and over again. That's how it works, Fresh says. If only, if only that, if only that weren't so. It's kind of weird that our, our oxygen meter is labeled diving. so close. <sighs> 
I failed. Mm -hmm. I failed. Why, why is it so hard to jump over this guy all of a sudden? Get so close, fail a million times later, get there, and just collapse. Uh, is GTA 5 labeled diving as well? I don't get it, Mansta. I mean, I get the meter. I get the meters labeled diving because that's the purpose. <laughs> like it's like it's functional, but it's not. The meter isn't measuring our dive; it's measuring our oxygen. So I, I don't know. It's just strange that it would be labeled like that. Maybe the word oxygen was too difficult to write. Like maybe the maybe like the X character looked odd or something. Failure. So many failures. I don't even know. I don't know what separates a good a jump from a bad jump. I just know it hurts. It hurts to it hurts to come this far and fail. Uh. 
My man stood, don't give me tips, it's a no back seating stream. Thank you. The noise that happens, like the alert that you're running out of air, is, um... It's very similar to the sound in another 2600 game. I can't quite place it, though. I think it's some, I think it's a, like, might be a Space Invaders, or, it's, I think it's some sort of space game. This is more difficult than Haunted Castle. <laughs> oh no! The capture, the, the, ca look at what happened to the, to the video. How did it happen? Why did it suddenly go so bad? What a mess. What a mess.
No worry, no worries, fresh. No worries, fresh. It's all, it's all okay. I didn't, uh, I didn't see any, I didn't see anything that, uh, I would, I, like, no, you're, you're fine. I don't know why the I don't know why the video suddenly got like a hundred times worse. I don't know what causes it to get that weird like rainbow effect in it. Usually, usually turning the TV off and turning it back on is like is the thing that fixes it, right? That's all I'm doing, just turning the TV off and back on. But, because I'm so far away from the CRT, like, hitting the correct button is a major chore. My, my, the, my wooden sword that I use is, like, it's got a good enough reach that I can, I can press the buttons I need to on my consoles, but it doesn't quite reach the television. Two hundred thirteen thousand in uh, Donkey Kong Game and Fit. Very uh, excellent. That sounds to me like quite the score. Victory! That's it, we did it! Oh, after being stuck with this game for way too long, we're free! Oh. Glorious! One life clear! Thank you for the GG! Alright, let's, uh, let's try out something else. Let's try out another game. If you want to take a quick look at uh, what we got in the collection, in that VG Collect page, you can narrow it down to Atari 2600 games on the... Uh, with the tabs on the left, but you can see what games I own physically. And if you want to uh, make a suggestion, I'm open to uh, I'm open to hear I'm open to hearing what people think I should play. If you've made a suggestion already, I'm I may have forgotten it, so I may need you to repeat it. <laughs> I can't remember. I've been playing this now for so long. I can't remember if I've received any other suggestions or not. I don't own Pitfall 2. I own Pitfall 1, but it's broken. 
and that's a uh, yeah so uh, so uh so don't so please don't suggest pitfall one i can't play it that my cartridge doesn't work and yeah I'm, I'm sorry i don't own pitfall two Get me a 5.51 in Dragster. I, I know that that's a joke game and fit, but do I own Dragster? <laughs> I've never played it. I don't know if you're just making a joke or if I actually, or if you are actually suggesting it. I don't know what's in my own collection, you see. And if there are no if there are no strong feelings for any particular game, I can just kind of grab something. Uh... Sort of randomly. I don't appear to own Dragster. Really not much to it. All right. Well, I'm going to I'm going to slip away. You could still You can still uh you could still drop a uh, title in the uh, chat. Uh, but I'm going to I'm going to just head over to the shelf and um grab what looks cool to me. Kid Cool I don't have, and I thought that was an NES game. I mean, it may very well, it may very well have a uh, Atari release, but I, uh, I've only ever heard of it on the NES, I think. No worries, no worries, uh, fresh. All right, I'll be right back, my friends. Hey, one up, John. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. I had to step away for just a moment. I'm back with you now. Thank you very much. Welcome in uh, Scooter as well. Thank you for coming along. Pleasure to have you here. Tell us about your stream, my friend. What were you? Uh, what were you doing tonight? How did your stream go? We'd love to hear the details. We're uh, playing some Atari Twenty Six Hundred at the moment. Either of the sword quest games, Mansta says. We could take a look at we could take a look at one of those. I don't know that I'll be able to do anything worthwhile in it. I don't really know anything about them. Other than I think they're supposed to be pretty obtuse, right? But uh I'd be willing to give it a look. I'm kind of scraping the contacts of a, of a game at the moment. Uh, we're going to see how this one behaves. And went well. I was streaming Yoshi's Woolly World on the Wii U. And I beat it. GG, one up, John. 
Very good. Legendary, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well. To show love and support. Do you want community? I mean, I think we've got a pretty nice community here. If I uh, do say so myself. I've been lucky enough to uh, have some very fine people gather around me here on the stream. Never forgot what to do as a kid, but the Sword Quest mini games were great. Manster says, "All right, we can give it a we can give it a look." Let me. Uh... You know what? Let's go ahead and just look at that one first. Let me let me grab one of the Sword Quest games. I'll be right back. All right, I got it. Um, one of John beat Willy World in one nine-hour stream. Hey, that's even better, one of John. Very nice. Let me uh get you a shout-out link in the chat. Found the sword quest game so confusing. That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm a little afraid of. All right, watch out. Here's the some some television static coming at you. It looks like the game works. Not at all, not at all, 1UP John. Thank you for the raid. Pleasure to have you here. And if you, uh, my friends, have a, are so inclined, can use that link there to uh, add 1UP John to your uh, followed list, and you'll not go wrong. All right, so let's see what this is all about. I know very, very little about these games. Um, I know there was a contest of sorts, and there was something to do with uh, comic books. With, like, secret messages and, and clues for the contest. I think it's a bit late for me to enter. But uh, let's see if I can at least figure the game out. All right, I think I've got a rope, a dart, or a key, a hook, and I don't know, it looks like a rosary, necklace, I don't know if I can, I don't think I can combine items in any way. I can reorder them. That might be worth doing. So, maybe hook, rope, no, yeah. Dart. Necklace? This looks like a mermaid statue. I don't appear to be able to do anything with that. I 
Too bad the contest was ended by the game crash of 83, Greg says. The new Atari collection features the final Sword Quest game, if I remember, Gaming Fit says. Interesting. That might be, you know, a, a, a cool curiosity to check out. Well, I can't go to the left. Alright, I can go down. So, orange and pink and green and yellow and blue and red. No, how many colors are there? Sixteen four. Blue. Oh There's so many rooms that are just all the same colors. Oh, I finally made it back, I think, to the starting room. Oh, I can't go left. I might have to get a paper and a pen to draw a little map. Not many 2600 games had an inventory screen. Oh. Huh. I don't know what kind of object that is. I gotta place the right thing in the right room for all the... all these things. I across the street. <laughs> Not a lot of, the, of buttons on the 2600 controller for devs to work with, Craig says. Resident Evil, eat your heart out. Imagine having to draw a map for a 2600 game, Greg says. I mean, I think that's what, I think that's where we are. This is pretty tough. Uh, that was the golden opportunity. No, that was another golden opportunity, and I still blundered. Hey, we did it. All right, I got another thing. I just don't know what any of these things are. Strawberry? My inventory's full. Huh. You know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna go back to the pink room. And I'm just gonna leave everything here. Because I don't think I need any of this stuff until I see what everything is. We'll put everything together. Uh, 
<laughs> Thank you for the GG, Mansta. I don't, uh, oh no. I was gonna say, I don't really think I earned it, but, uh, you know, I'll take it nonetheless. Uh... It's really just a matter of brute forcing your way across the room. At least for me it is. Strawberry. Let's see what the next room has for us. <laughs> what? No. Listen to these noises. Frogger, except you're human, so it's, uh, it's humaner. Best soundtrack ever. This is why the NES doesn't seem so hard to us. Victory! Let's go! No idea what in the world that thing is. We got like a statue of a little guy and a artist palette. Or maybe a pair of brass knuckles. <laughs> Got like a tulip with a face leaning over a golf ball. Victory. A pair of shoes and a key. Now that's a key. I thought the other thing might be a key. This is 100% a key. And there's a bull. Thank you for the GGs. My heart is exploding with nostalgia right now. Thanks for playing this, Brownie Mansta says. My pleasure, Mansta. This is, uh... I mean, I'm definitely interested. A lobster... The ring? Can I pick up the ring? I know I left some stuff in the... What what color room is that? The light purple room. I left some stuff. I'll have to go back. Dark green. Oh, we're real close to pink. Anyway, here we go. Back up to light purple. You better get the sword if you win, Game and Fit says. Yeah, light purple. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's a can. That's a candle. Uh, arrow. Lobster. 
register. It's kind of cool. Oh, I disagree. No, this confusion, this feeling is so familiar 40 years later. <laughs> Confu doesn't confusion basically sum up everything I do? Is that a lion? I think that's a lion. Alright, so... I've got a pair of shoes... A beach ball, a candle, uh, <laughs> I have no earthly idea what that could be. A rope, a key, a necklace, a ring, a little statue of a guy, a... something, a strawberry, a dart, an arrow, a grappling hook, a bottle, and some pills? <laughs> uh, maybe this is, maybe this is a trident. Maybe this is a mermaid and this is a trident. Well, the, the 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 grappling hook and the rope have to go in the same place, right? What is this? Like a scale? Like like a justice scale? Scorpion. The mini games are just getting in my way. It's a uh... Maybe it's a cowboy riding a horse. I can kind of see that. I, too, have a pair of shoes. 
Hey Doe, welcome in. <laughs> welcome to Sword Quest, uh Earth World on the 2600. This game is uh very perplexing, but I'm I'm not having a terrible time. I'm just very, very confused. I'm seeing if I can I'm seeing if I can work this game out. So far, I don't know. I might be on the right track. At least I seem to have cleared all the mini games. Twenty six hundred graphics. Nothing seems to resemble what it's supposed to be. I'll sit back and enjoy the show. Toe says, "I hope you do. I hope you do. I hope you you enjoy it." I'm uh, I'm scratching my head. Definitely scratching my head. Don't know what this thing is either. Some sort of creature. Hey, Cherokee man, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. We have a read message. So yeah, here we are now. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a great raid message. Thank you for the raid. Uh, welcome in. Choby Chumpus. I may have I may have blundered that. I welcome correction if I'm wrong. I uh, hope you're well. I'm doing very well, Cherokee man. I hope you're doing well. Let me give you a shout out. What have you been up to? What are you doing on your stream tonight? Please tell us all about it, my friend. Hope I've typed your name right. My uh, my right hand is not very clever. Elder Scrolls Online, is that correct? Nailed it. Right on. Thank you, Choby. Thank you for the follow as well. Very, very kind of you to come on board with us. So we're playing um we're playing some Atari twenty six hundred games tonight. Um This is Sword Quest Earthworld. I've never played it before. Um it seems to it, it's it's it seems like an adventure game. I like I, I have an inventory of items. You, you can't see any of them right now. I stashed them in another room, but I seem to have to match the items with the right character to make progress here. And uh, so that's, you know, that's what I'm working on doing. I'm 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 just diving into this blind and seeing how much if any of it I can figure out. Doing really good playing Elder Scrolls Online tonight, leveling and uh helping out some Argonians <laughs> right on. I'm very I should be more familiar with Elder Scrolls than I am. I played a little bit I played a little bit of Oblivion. And I played a lot of Skyrim, except I never did anything worthwhile in Skyrim. I played Skyrim. I like. I got to the part where you fight a dragon near Whiterun, and then they told me to go meet some graybeards on the top of a mountain, and I never did that. I wandered off into the wilderness, and then I spent a hundred hours crawling through caves and fortresses and hoarding every item I came across in the entire universe. And I never completed any sto more story or any quest or did anything valuable. And I had a great time. <laughs> but all I did was wander around filling my pockets. <laughs> 
Uh. So I kind of like, I have a very like vague familiarity with the Elder Scrolls, but it's so minimal. The dragon problem could wait. Subject Omega, welcome in. Pleasure to have you here. Feel like Oblivion is kind of retro now. You should finish it. <laughs> I did the same thing. Eventually I went back to the gray beards. It's so much fun. I just, uh, when there's all that, like, uh, the games that are, like, real big like that, because I'm not really big on, like, story and stuff in games, and with a game that's big and open like that, if it gives me the opportunity to ignore the story and just and just kind of make my own game, then I I can't resist that temptation. At the end of the day, isn't filling your pockets what it's all about? Alright, I'm gonna... I'm going to kind of shy away from the rooms that have mini games in them for the moment. Some kind of orb. I just, I just don't know what anything is in this game. I might have figured that room out. So this is like two people shaking hands. Lobster. Alright, so what happens if I take the candle? Back to this room. Can I see what's going on? Can I find the room? I can! I can see what's going on. Alright, perfect. But I mean... I mean, I made it. I crossed this. I crossed this room without the candle a little while ago. <laughs> All right. So the 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 items have some of the items have practical purposes. So I think that these are, I think that these are Zodiac signs is what these are. Because like this, I think is Gemini because it's a pair of twins, right? And we saw a scorpion and this is a crab, not a lobster. <laughs> so that's Cancer. I don't know what the green room is. But the, here's the thing. 
I don't know. I don't know the signs of the Zodiac. So I'm going to have to make up my own names for a lot of these. <laughs> I know some of them. I know some of them. Scorpion. But I don't know I don't know all their names and I don't know like what their properties are. So because I'm my my suspicion now is that like what I don't know what zodiac sign the orb is. Frogger Champion. Thank you, Subject Omega. Let's go back to the pink room. All right, so because see, like I figure, I gotta match the item with the sign of the zodiac that it makes sense with. But like, all right, so. But the candle is a practical item, so I don't think that it has to match with anyone. So let me see if I can if if I can think if I can figure out what any of these would want. All right. Well, you know what? Let's because I think this is a mermaid. And this looks like a trident. I think if I just pair the mermaid with the trident, that that might clear this room. So maybe I should just move everything that's not the trident out of here. And just start with this room. Is this one of the Sword Quest games? It is, Chozo. Oh, thank you for the pistachios, uh, Cherokee man. I'm sorry. Sorry, it's it's I I'm kind of like having trouble with the uh, with the chat. Uh, like or I'm not I'm I'm not keeping up very well. I'm 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 using a lot of my brain power here for the game, but I definitely like I don't mean to ignore you, my friends. You would have gotten hungry eventually. Uh, don't please please don't please don't try and uh please don't try and uh and feed me information <laughs> i may not i may not have sufficient information to solve this but i uh i want to try i want to try my hand at working it out with 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 my insufficient knowledge set first um I know it I know it's gonna be very difficult, but but please please don't feed me details I don't have. <laughs> I do wanna try I do wanna try and puzzle this out blind. I may I may break and have to ask for help. <laughs> but uh but but I would like to ask for your patience first, please. Over 3,000 hours in Oblivion, 1,000 in Skyrim, Morrowind maybe 50. Hard to adjust when you've played the other games first, uh, Game & Fit says. I don't think I played enough to... Um, get absorbed into any uh one particular uh 
game, so I I don't know that I found it that much that difficult uh, myself. But <laughs> I can imagine three thousand hours making you pretty used to a particular title. <laughs> Right on subject, Omega. <laughs> I mean, I I have serious doubts that I'm going to be able to figure this out. But I, uh... I want to give it my best. How impressive, detailed, complex... This game is for the twenty for a twenty six hundred game. Greg says, "I don't know if that's sincere or sarcastic." Greg, <laughs> let me uh, take a moment here. I'm gonna. Uh, no, I'm not. I was gonna. I was gonna say I was gonna split my recording, but I think I did that earlier when we took a BRB. So, uh, ignore me. I'm not going to do anything. Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh no. No, something's not right. Oh, here we are. Okay. I don't know what I did wrong. All right. Okay. We're okay. I think this is not right. Lots of yellow. Scorpio. I just look at some, like, I look at this, and I just... All I can see is a cowboy on a horse.
I think you may be smarter than you let on. <laughs> Uh, thank you. I see that icon and I think of Link on opponent in the Zelda games. <laughs> This room isn't worth it. I don't know what this is. Personally, I thought it was a centaur. Thing is, I don't even know if the that room's Problem being, this game is older than any other uh, Zelda game. I don't think, like, I'm just trying to pair this, I'm just trying to brute force this right now. If Because if it is... If it is the solution that we take a particular item to a particular room, then I should be able to just brute force one. But, alright, one, like, one issue that I have with that, though, is that I don't know which items are... Why don't I just count how many rooms there are? Alright, from orange. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Did I lose count? Are there thirteen rooms? Hang on, what one? No, because I already counted this one. There are twelve rooms. Remember that thing you suggested earlier for a stream? The no death 100% clear? The super ghouls and ghosts? 
Did you uh did you try your hand at that one? How did that go? Did you did you do it? I don't even know what this thing is. Oh no. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to pull that off. It might be... It might be even harder than this. So I don't know what this object is, but look, now when I go up and down, when I'm carrying this object around, the rooms, the room that I get is randomized, right? Because like, I'm in the dark purple and I go up. Now I'm in light blue, so when I go down, it should be dark purple again. But nope, now we're in orange. So that's a, that's a frustrating item. I'm not carrying that around anymore. That's a room randomizer. But I learned what something else does. It's a little too spicy for me, so I'll just try the game normally. But hey, you got someone interested in Ghosts and Goblins? Oh, wonderful. I hope you, uh, I hope you have fun with it. It is, uh, it is my favorite game. Now I can't get back to... Oh my goodness. Alright. Things are back to normal now. This would be much easier if I were taking, if I were taking notes.
don't mind me, I'm just brute forcing my way through this room for the eight, 18th time. <laughs> there. Really? That's not it? I mean, there's no guarantee that there's only one item for each thing either. I'm falling asleep, Chozo says. I'll keep your stream up until the laptop battery runs out. <laughs> Have a good day slash night, everyone. Thank you, Chozo. I uh, I appreciate that. Thank you uh, for the lurk. I hope you sleep well, my friend, and have a wonderful weekend. The two-loop gimmick is going to be the death of me, because after all th that, the game cares not. Do it all over again. Do it all over again. But you have to you have to do both loops for the true ending because of, it's what it's all about, especially the uh, oh boy, especially that that next to last boss on loop two. That's the heart of the game. I don't like this room. <sighs> I don't know what any of this garbage is. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I've got a I only have a one in twelve chance of getting the room I need. Alright, I gotta get get this thing out of my pockets. That thing is a nightmare. Thank you. 
this is really tough to work out. Sorry, I kicked my uh, microphone stand. So if I have this beach ball in my inventory, when I come into this room, I don't have to do the mini game. I don't know why that would be. to do that many games. Hang on, I figured one of these out. Probably didn't. I probably didn't. Just, just letting you know. I probably didn't really figure it out, but I might have. No, I didn't. Ah, oh, I thought there was a logic there. So, I'll let you know my logic. I thought that, like, I thought this was a bull. And, uh, like, when you see bulls in cartoons, a lot of times they have, like, a nose ring. So, I thought, oh, the ring. The ring belongs to the bull. I thought it was a good line of thought, but it was wrong. Oh, 
I'm never going to get a single one of these right. Why did that work? There are too, there are too, there are too many variables. There are too many variables to like. Account for. <sighs> it's painful to you have to use this, uh, joystick to navigate. So the statue, if I have the statue in my inventory, I can move left and right.
I'm unconvinced that this has ever been solved. I am unconvinced that this has ever been solved by a human. This is Sword Quest. Real lack of swords, if you ask me. <laughs> All right, well, I know what these items do. Needs that leave remaining. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have to be, so I must be wrong. There are 15 items in this game. There are 12 rooms. There are three puzzles. One of the items helps with the puzzle. One of the items skips a puzzle. One of the items shuffles your rooms.
I have no idea, Subject Omega. I have a... Uh... I have no idea. I have no idea what this is. My brain is slightly fried, but uh, I don't want to give up. I don't want to give up. I still want to cling to the false hope that I am smart enough to figure this all out on my own. <laughs> Even with vital pieces of the puzzle missing. I think this is Pisces. I think it I think this is two fish circling each other. I think it's uh I think it's two fish circling around each other. I was lucky. That's the bull. The thing is, the, uh, my, um, the game gives me no feedback on,
again. This is so annoying. <laughs> Fine, I'll just remember I left a bottle of wine in there. My fear is that, because I'm not getting, it's like, my thought is that I have just have to leave a particular item or set of items with each of the, within the rooms where they belong. It's like my thought, but I... My trouble is that it doesn't seem to be that it's just leave, put an item in a room and immediately get feedback. It seems like the solution to this is to put every item in the right room all at once and the game will then tell you if you're right. And until you have every item in the, in the room where it belongs, like simultaneously, the game isn't going to give you any feedback. Is what it feels like. So if I put each if I put each item in the right place, uh, but I don't even know the thing is, so many of the items, I have no idea what in the world they are. It makes it very difficult. Give me that strawberry. Does it belong to you? <laughs> it sure doesn't it sure doesn't feel good this game <laughs> I think I'm stumped, my friends. I think that I am, uh, I think I'm stumped. Let me, What I will do is I will look at the instruction manual. I'm not ready to receive a lot of help yet, but I will take a look at the instruction manual.
and I'll see what it says. Gameplay. As an explorer and clue seeker in the subterranean landscape represented in this game cartridge, your objective is to find the hidden clues and solve the puzzle. In Earthworld, there are 12 special rooms, each bearing a sign of the Zodiac on its wall. Figure 1 shows a Zodiac chamber, and Figure 2 shows the symbols for all the Zodiac rooms. Traverse the 12 rooms and select magic objects. You can take six objects at a time. Then as you leave the right objects in the appropriate rooms, you'll receive clues that will help you solve the puzzle. So I was right. Ish. That's Capricorn? Okay, the manual is... The manual is mandatory. Oh, my goodness. I still don't understand this game. Sorry, no, it's very exciting. I know it's very exciting to watch me um, reading text that you can't see. <laughs> so, so each of these objects here, like from the left to the, like starting with the shoes up there, the shoes of stealth, the cloak of invisibility is the next thing, the lamp, the amulet, the rope, the key, the necklace, the food, the talisman of passage. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, the necklace, the ring, the talisman of passage, the water, that is water. There's a dagger. Short sword. Grappling hook. This is Libra. 
It's still not clear to me, even skimming the manual. It's still not clear to me, even like with the manual, like. what what I'm supposed to ultimately be doing well this is uh This is more, this game is more than my brain can take. <laughs> I think I, I think that, I think that I need to be done with this one. No, no, the manual didn't say to leave the right item in the right place. Uh, or if it did, I, I missed it. It talked about using items in the right places, but, uh, I, it's not, it's not what I thought it was to just match an item to match the items with the characters one by one. Um, it seems to be much more involved. That's why I said you were smarter than you let on. You had it right, but marked it down to a total guess. I mean, it's hard to know. It's hard to know if you're right when you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> Oh, my mind is fried. <laughs> this is a very, like, uh, this is a very disappointing way to end this. Because I worked so long, like, trying to see if I could figure this out. And I cannot do it, <laughs> is my conclusion. But, uh, I, I think I have to be done with this game. But, uh, no one can say... That I didn't... No one could say that I didn't give it my best shot. <laughs> I really tried to figure out what all this stuff is. Uh, uh may I make? All right, uh, sure. Subject Omega. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll give you permission to uh, if you uh, if you have an idea, we can look at. We can look at uh, what you're curious about real quick. Rope and a hook for fishing. All right, so maybe take this to Pisces. We can try that. I'm getting, I gotta get rid of that thing. I 
mean, I think you're on. Yeah, I mean, I your I think your way of thinking is, uh, I think, good. But, but yeah, it's one of those things. Like the the game, yeah, the game doesn't really give you feedback. To uh, <laughs> to let you know, to let you know if you're on the right track with anything. I'm going to give up while I'm behind. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm doing too, Subject Omega. <laughs> Uh, we seem to have kind of fizzled out tonight, my friends, but I think that that's going to be it. I think that's going to be it for the stream. <laughs> it's been a weird night. It's been a weird night. <laughs> I appreciate you being here with me. Um, I appreciate your company. Um, boy, I feel, I feel like I've really let you down tonight, my friends. I feel like this is, Maybe, maybe one of the, maybe one of the worst streams that I've, that, that I've provided. So I'm, uh, I'm really, I'm really sorry for that. It's just been a night of all the, oh, of frustrating technological problems and my inability to solve games. It's just been a mess. I, I, you're, you, you have more patience than I do, my friends, for having been willing to, um, to stick with me tonight. It's unbelievably good at good of you. So thank you. Thank you very much. Maybe next time, just maybe. I don't. I don't know. Maybe we'll look at this game again someday. But I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be eager to hop back in. I think it was a good stream as always, Frowny, but that's very kind of you to say, Sparrow. Uh, I'm looking at um I'm looking at who's live and what they're doing and Trying to decide who to send us along to.
Thank you for your patience, my friends. All right, well, from struggle to struggle, I'm going to pass everybody off to uh, Sarconius tonight. Sark does a lot of um, retro uh, achievement hunting, and he's working on a game called Ill Bleed. Uh, it's a game I've never played. Um, I'm probably going to end up raiding and running myself, uh, my friends. <laughs> I've uh, It's very late for me, and I, and I have kind of... And I've kind of worn myself thin uh, with with this terribly frustrating game. Um, Sark stream uh, is is good times though. He struggles through some really tough challenges uh, hunting those achievements, and uh, and he's pulled off some impressive feats. It's not a strictly family friendly stream. You will hear um, adult language on the other side. Uh, just a heads up about that, if uh, if that's not to your liking. Uh, but there are many good times to be had if you do come along. Thank you very much for being here, my friends. Thank you for your patience. I normally don't stream on the weekends. There's a thin chance that you that you may catch me for a surprise stream. But I would uh, I would look for me in earnest next week. We'll be doing more Haunted Castle, more Mystic Quest, more Super Ghouls and Ghosts, and uh, probably more Kirby. Uh, maybe some other things in there too, but uh, have a great weekend my friends be well until I see you again I'm all out of stream for tonight. We're gonna head out. It's time to go on an adventure <laughs>